public input. There is no public input section in this agenda. Two requests were received and declined under Standing Order 7.7.4b as the annual budget had a consultation process. One from Trevor Lawson of Dreven Investments Limited and Martin Graham of the PSA. Okay, local board input. There is no local input section. Um, extraordinary items. None are known. So I will move to item six, the Tupuna Monga Authority Operational Plan for 2023-24. We have had three meetings with the Monga Authority so far about this plan, including joint meeting and two workshops. The chair and deputy chair were present and answered a number of questions. We have asked the Monga Authority to reduce their costs like we did across the council to assist with resolving the budget gap. They have proposed a 5% cost reduction, which is a good step. I'd like to acknowledge the governing body members who sit on the Monga Authority, uh, councillors Fletcher, Turner and Leone, who do a good job for the people of Auckland here. Dominic Wilson, the head of co-governance. Are you there, Dominic Wilson? He is here digitally in front of you. Uh, would you like to um, speak, please, Dominic? Um, morena tato. Um, firstly, apologies that I'm not there in person. Um, we have COVID in our household, and um, and I have symptoms, so I, I didn't want to bring it to um, to your gathering. So apologies um, that I'm online. Um, I, I don't propose to read through uh, the report given the. Um, uh, the number of hui that have happened already, and it would be covering um, the same ground. Uh, but I just did want to highlight that the attachments um, A and B, um, the operational plan, the draft, and the draft summary of the operational plan, uh, they already contain the amendment of a 5% cost saving from both, both operational and capital budgets. Um, those are on the um, attachments uh, item 6, pages 33 and 35, um, which um, have amended figures um, to, re to reflect that 5% saving. Um, so uh, that would be all I need to cover. I'd suggest your worship. Thank you. Thank you, Dominic. Are there any questions of the two Puma Munga Authority report? Councillor Walker, I've got one first up. Um, so I've just got a, a question around the amount of uh, 1160000 which is for the network-wide vegetation restoration program. And my question is, how much of that is for the uh, felling of uh, non-native trees? Because I understand that could be part of the amount. Obviously, there will be planting as well. Thank you. Uh, could you reply to that, please, Dominic? I think in the um, circumstances of um, the last um, three meetings, of course, and the various questions that have come through, um, it would be wise that I um, pass that on to the operational team, and if they could respond in writing to the member, um, if that's okay with um, your worship. Councillor Walker, is that okay? They're going to respond in writing or not? I would uh, prefer to have the information um, today if that's possible. If, if that means just holding the item uh, a little while, that'd be great. Uh, and the reason that um, I'm asking that question is there were a substantial number of submissions mm. to this um, uh, particular item concerned around the felling of uh, trees, and there's a substantial cost associated with that if... if um, it is the case. Uh, Dominic, how quickly can you get a response to that one there from uh, your offsiders, or are there other members of the authority present who might be able to respond to that? Um, I'll quickly um, contact the operational team. Um, as I say, um, apologies that I'm at, at home, um, but that said, we can do that in the next half hour. Elf, do you want to speak? You've got a question on this? 
No, not a question, Fakar or uh, Your Worship, but I'll wait for uh, some of the governing body members on the Tupunamong Authority to move it, or yourself, and then I just uh, have a comment in regards to acknowledging Tupunamonga, the Worship. Any more questions? No more questions. On the basis of that, does uh, one of the members of the um, authority wish to move this? Leone. Uh, Councillor Leone and Councillor Turner to second that. Okay, now I'll ask for comments and we'll hopefully that Dominic can make some response to that question in the meantime. But uh, Councillor Filipina, please. Your Worship. Tenakwe Dominic, a mihiki a koutou no Tupunamong Authority, a tenakwe. Um, your Worship, I, I also just want to echo, echo your your uh, your thanks to the members on the Tupunamong Authority, but also in particular, I think I want to acknowledge not only our governing body members, but also the local board members who are on there and Mana Whenua. And, and the local board members are Tawa Nu'unik Bakulich, who is the chair of the Mangadi or Tahuhu local board, um, member... Uh, Tony Van Tonda, who is the Deputy Chair of the Tupunamong Authority, and also Nurse Henry. Um, and I just want to acknowledge those particular members and uh, Mana Whenua and Paul Majuri. Um, Your Worship, this, this hasn't been a, a, a very good task uh, over the last few years around Tupunamong Authority and the management plan, but I think we're, we're at a, a, a point now in regards to this operational plan. Um, that uh, should be supported by everybody around this table. So, Your Worship, those, those are my comments, is just to acknowledge all those, our, our governing body members and um, members of the Tupuna Monga Authority. Kia ora. Kia ora, Councillor. Um, I think given the fact that uh, Dominic said he could come back and answer that question within half an hour, what, I'll just park this and we'll move to item seven, which is the overview of decision-making, and we'll come